Let's take a look at the ratio questions. So question number one, this is a non-calculator question. Uh, all we're looking for in 1a is what can we divide 6 and 12 by? Well, you can divide them both by, well, you can divide them both by 6, but if you want, divide them by 2, you get 3 to 6. And 3 to 6, you can divide both of these numbers by 3. 3 divided by 1 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Or alternatively, you could have just divided 6 by 6 to give us 1 and 12 by 6 to give us 2. So 6 to 12 is 1 to 2. 25 to 5, both of these numbers are in the 5 times table. 25 divided by 5 is 5. One, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so 5 to 1. 6 to 8, divide both numbers by 2, you get 3 to 4. And 21 to 14, divide both numbers by 7, you get 3 to 2. 2a, again, no calculator for um, this question. We can divide all of these numbers by 3, so that becomes 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 18 divided by 3 is 6, so 1 to 2 to 6. b, all of these numbers are in the 5 times table, so if you divide them all by 5, you get 7 to 2 to 3. And this um, final one, both, all of these numbers are in the 8 times table. And if you divide 32 by 8, you get 4. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And 24 divided by 8 is 3. Alternatively, you might have divided it by 2, and then by 2 again, and then by 2 again. But you would have ended up eventually at 4 to 2 to 3. So question number 3. Um, a wall is made with 800 red bricks and 350 black bricks. So as a ratio, we can just write that as 800 to 30, 350. A very easy way to simplify the ratio is just chop off the zeros, which means we've just simplified it by dividing by 10. Can we simplify it any further? Well, I know that both of these numbers are in the five times table. We are allowed to use a calculator for this question. So 80 divided by five is 16. 35 divided by five is seven, and that ratio can't be simplified anymore. Question four, uh, the ratio is 56 to 42. And um, well, I know from my uh, times tables that both of these are divisible by seven, uh, but you might want to use a calculator, divide them by two, and then see what happens after that. Um, but if I divide 56 by seven, I get eight. And if I divide 42 by seven, I get six. However, I've noticed I've now got a ratio which still can be simplified because eight and six are even numbers and eight to six is four to three, just dividing them both by two there. Question number five. So the ratio is five parts to one part. So if the ratio is five to one, water to squash and he is using 20 of squash. Probably a good idea to just write it very clearly. So the five is the water and the one is the squash. I mean, I think we know that when we make squash, we know that we're uh, the minority of the liquid is squash. So if you're adding 20 mil of squash, how many mil of water will we use? Well, to go from one to 20, we're, mu we're multiplying by 20. Basically, we're just scaling the ratio up 20 times. So therefore we'll need 20 times 5, which is 100, so 100 millilitres of water. For the coffee, it's, uh, if I just write in here, water to milk, the ratio is 4 to 1. So if he uses 50 of milk, well, we're scaling up 50 times, so 50 times 4 is 200, so he will therefore need 200 millilitres of hot water. Question number seven, this is a different skill now. We are dividing a total in a ratio. Now what we need to do is add the numbers in the ratio up. So one plus four is five. So what this means is one person gets one fifth and the other person gets four fifths. So Christian is the one fifth and Anton is the four fifths. So Christian gets one fifth of 300. So here we're just working out a fraction of an amount. So 300 divided by five is 60, so Christian gets 60 pounds. Question number eight, we know that the ratio salt to cream is one to 20, so therefore as a fraction, that means one 21st, if that's how you say it, is salt, 
and 20 out of 21 is cream. This is the denominator because 1 plus 20 is 21. So we want to know how much salt is used if we are making 420 grams of butter. So 1 21th of this amount is 420. So we just need to work out what 1 21th of 420 is. So the calculation is 420 divided by 21 and that is 20. So therefore 20 grams of butter. Slightly confusing question that one. Question 9, uh, we're just splitting 52 in the ratio of 6 to 2 to 5. So that 6 to 2 to 5, um, that is red to blue to yellow. So work out the ratio in, as fractions. So 6 plus 2 plus 5 is 13. So 6 thirteenths are red, 2 thirteenths are blue, 5 thirteenths are yellow. So we need to work out 6 thirteenths of 52, 2 thirteenths of 52, and 5 thirteenths of 52. So when we're dealing with ratios, we need to be good at working out a fraction of an amount. To work out a fraction of a total, you take your total, you divide it by the number on the bottom, and you multiply it by the number on the top. 52 divided by 13 times by 6 is 24. So red is 24. 52 divided by 13 multiplied by 2 is 8. So blue is 8. And green is 52 divided by 13 multiplied by 5 which is 20. Question 10, similar question to question 9. We're going to work it out as fractions. So Dion, Greg and Sandy. The bottom number of the fraction is 4 plus 3 plus 1 which is 8. So Dion gets 4 eighths, Greg 3 eighths and Sandy 1 eighth of the 4,000 pounds. And if you're clever you, you can see that 4 eighths, we can simplify that as to a half. A half of 4,000 is 2,000. 3 eighths, um, so again, if you fraction of an amount, take your total, 4,000, divide it by 8, and multiply it by 3, that comes to 1,500, and 1 eighth of 4,000 is 4,000 divided by 8, which is 500. Question number 11, we know that the ratio of honey to strawberry is 1 to 4, so 1 gram to 4 grams, so if we're using 340 grams of strawberries, we're scaling this ratio up by a certain amount. Um, now we can use a calculator. How many times greater is 340 than 4? So what's three, 340 divided by 4 uh, gives us 85. So we're scaling the ratio up 85 times. So therefore we are going to be using 1 times 85 which is 85 grams uh, of honey. And 85 plus 340 comes to 425, so in total 425 grams of sorbet. Number 12, we know that the ratio of milk to flour is 4 to 9, and if we're using 270 grams of flour, we are scaling this ratio up by how many times? Well, 270 divided by 9 is 30, so 9 times 30 is 270. So therefore, we're going to need to scale up the milk by 30 as well. 30 times 4 is 120. And if we add 120 to 270, we get 390. So 390 grams of biscuit is made in total.